Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to Exploring the World of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Black Temple, the raid in Outlands, in Shadowmoon Valley. We are going to be breaking out of bounds, and I'm going to be showing you the surrounding area. Now, before we begin this video, I just want to talk on a few things real quick to kind of clear the air and so that everybody who's coming to this channel is aware of what's going on. Now, I know most of you come here just to see OOB stuff, but I have had a few comments of people coming to the channel and thinking, uh, you know, oh, this name is pronounced this way or this name is pronounced that way. I want to address this right now. I am not a lore or history World of Warcraft expert in any way. If you're coming here to learn World of Warcraft lore, you're in the wrong place. Okay, I just want to make that clear now. Now, if that's something that you guys are interested in and you want me to start doing more research before I go do my OOB, I can. But my channel is not made to do World of Warcraft lore. Maybe in the it maybe in the future, you know, who knows? But I've always been a casual player. I'm not a hardcore player. I just want to do OOB stuff. I want to break out of bounds and I just want to have fun. And that's it and build an ATN community on the side on Discord and uh, just have fun with you guys. And we've been having a lot of fun in that Discord. But I want to say to people who are maybe new to the channel, if you're coming by, I'm not a lore expert. Sorry, it's just not who I am. I've never been a hardcore WoW player. I've never taken the game super seriously. And like, I need to get all the Mythic Plus, you know, gear and all that. If you love doing that, that's awesome. That's great. I'm not that kind of person. Um, I just buy the expansions. I do the dungeons. I do Raid Finder. And I just have fun doing OOB stuff. So I apologize. If you're coming here and you're trying to learn lore stuff, that's not my thing. Second, I apologize to those who wanted to enter the art contest for the art uh, icon and banner on the channel. I said I was going to run the contest through the 31st. I had ended it a little early only because I only got a few submissions in my emails. And I thought that people just weren't that interested in it. I'll be honest, you know. So I was like, well, let's just end it early. Some people had... Uh, we're going to make art for that. I apologize. There's going to be more contests in the future. So don't think that you can't save your art for that time. All right. I'm going to be hosting more competitions, more giveaways in the future. So hold on to that stuff. Please don't abandon the art. <laughs> um, but I do want to apologize to those that wanted to enter the contest. I will not be doing that again in the future. I will not end it early. I promise whatever date I set, I will set it till then. Okay. Also, third thing, uh, we're going to be doing another event next month on 420. Uh, just like we did the Gnome Raid, I'm going to be hosting another event. We don't, I don't know what it is yet. If you haven't voted for the event, I put a bunch of different options in the community under the ATN channel and also uh, in the ATN Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord, please do. I'll put a link in the comment section below. And also, if you're interested in World of Warcraft lore or theories, go check out my other youtuber buddy jedi warlock he has an awesome channel he talks about a lot of cool theories and lore about world of warcraft and if you're looking for more lore and theory stuff he's the guy you want to go to so i'll also put his channel in the comment section below all right let's get back to the video i just wanted to clear the air on a few things there uh so as i said we are in the black temple we're gonna mount up and i'm gonna show you how to break out now this video and this breakout credit goes fully to true hero if you guys haven't met True Hero, he's an awesome guy. He hangs out in the Discord channel a lot. Go meet him. Go say hi to him. Uh, he's easy to talk to, easy to get along with, and he's just a, an overall cool dude. So he showed me how to do this, so all credit goes to Hero. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here to this back wall. Now, after you come out of the sewers, you're going to want to come to the second boss here. You're going to want to jump up here. Now, once you get up here... Behind these bars over here, you're going to want to point your cruiser. So we're going to do the Infernal Strike. Uh, you can just jump right here, and you can walk straight out of bounds. And there we go. We're officially out of bounds under the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up this way. And we're officially in Shadow Moon Valley. So there we go. And you can get a cool view of the uh, dungeon from the outside over here, which is really neat. And uh, also, this was a requested video. So, uh, those who had requested the Black Temple, thank you. I, I appreciate 
looking at new content. I've actually never done this raid myself. Um, exploring out of bounds. I've done it back in the day, doing it normally and killing Illidan and all that, but I've never actually broken out of it. So thank you, Hero, for the uh, breakout, and thank you for the comment of whoever wanted to do the Black Temple raid. So I appreciate both of you. Now, as we come out here, you can see a lot of Shadow Moon Valley is actually rendered still. A lot of it is still... Uh, here and you get some cool skyboxes out here in this raid so if you haven't seen the skybox it is way awesome you can see azeroth in the distance here and it's just a cool bunch of cool screenshots and stuff i'm definitely going to take a screen of that mez is going to be jealous here with that screenshot <laughs> mez this is a cool place to break out of bounds and get screenshots so there you go if you want some art photography all right let's start making our way out of the dungeon here or the raid excuse me and let's start heading out this way. Now, I would head out that way, but I actually did a test run of this um, not too long ago. And I had ran around to the back entrance, but there's not much back there to see. So we're going to go out this way. And I actually flew back into bounds in the raid, which sucked. So I had to like restart everything again. Uh, I ended up just killing myself with the campfire and the nitro fuel. So... All right, if you make your way out this way, you can see a lot of the stuff, the slime and the uh, the lava or whatever it is. It doesn't run out here anymore, so we can freely jump in these spaces. Now it is easy to get out of. We just walk back right up here. And as we follow this path out here on the right, it's going to lead us kind of to the edge of the world here. And there you go. There's the edge of the world already. But there is a lot more to see in this dungeon, so bear with me here. You can kind of get a cool view of the dungeon or raid. I keep saying dungeon, but it's a raid, but whatever. Same thing. You can get a cool shot from the outside over this way. And uh, we're going to get a little more of the edge of the world here. Look at that. It goes all the way down to the abyss. That's kind of scary, huh? That is the ground floor right there. Now, this is a really cool shot of the uh, slime or lava or whatever it is that's flowing down here. You want to talk about some school, school, some cool screenshots here. This is the place to take them. And just like I had said before, guys, I'm not perfect at pronouncing things. My English is not amazing sometimes. Uh, my vocabulary is weird. And uh, I'm not like an expert at any of those things. <laughs> so if you hear me say mess ups or slurs or a lot of different or slur my words, I guess you could say um, it's never on on purpose. It's just sometimes I need to slow down and talk a little more slower. But I get very excited to do these videos because I love what I do. And I love the support that all of you show me on this channel. It's just incredible so thank you all without you guys i wouldn't have a atn community or an atn channel so you guys watching supporting these videos it means the absolute world to me so thank you now as we come back this way we can get another glimpse of the black temple from the outside here we're gonna make our way out this way now there is a pathway that we can follow out here We're gonna jump right down here. It's so cool being a demon hunter on this map. Because <laughs> it fits perfectly into the into the raid aesthetics. Alright, we're gonna follow the path back up this way to Shadow Moon Valley. I would say follow the yellow brick road, but the road isn't yellow and there is no bricks. So we're not in Wizard of Oz. We're going to make our way down here, and we're going to go up the other path here. But first, let's go right, and then we'll go left. I'll give you guys a cool shot of what's back here. I love the skybox in this raid. So cool. And we're going to come out back this way. 
Now, what's really interesting is there's a lot of trails out here that normally are in the preloaded space out in Shadow Moon Valley. But the trails just kind of end and fall off the edge of the world here. Check out that. It's like a road that leads to nowhere. But let's go make our way back this way. And let's go see what's out here. Now what's really cool, Hero had pointed out something to me, um, is the space right over here, and we'll get to there in just a moment. But I want to go walk up here first so I can show you guys what's up here and get a cool shot of the whole Shadow Moon Valley up here as well. Might need to do a little bit of maneuver. Uh, if we can make our way up here. I thought that the hill would keep going up, so what we might need to do is do a little bit of a uh, fell rush in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch back to fell rush for havoc. There we go. And we're going to see if we can climb up them mountains here. So I think what we can do is we can make our way up this way. But it has given us a really tough time here. Or maybe not. Man, this is some hard textured ground right here. Alright, I wanted to get on top of this hill, but... Maybe that's not going to be possible. Sorry, guys. Wanted to give you a better shot over there. But let's just head back down this way. And let's go fly down here, because this is a really cool shot right here as well. Now, as you see, there's actually a dark box out here in the abyss. Look at that. Like a untextured black box. Pretty freaky back there. And if you want to see the entrance portal to the dungeon, it's actually right over down here. So we're going to make our way up this way. And we're going to make sure when we jump off the edge over here that we fly down to catch what's down here. Oh, such a cool shot right there. Look at that. And we made it. So let's mount back up. So what's cool is this is actually the entrance to the raid right here. So if you were to ever actually get back out of the sewer, this is what you would see. I'll show you what's back here as well. You kind of do a full circle here, which is kind of neat. There's nothing too much back here. Just another void abyss here. And as you can see, some smoke particle effects usually would be the entrance of the Black Temple. So what I'm talking about the entrance is right here. So this is normally the portal you'd walk through to actually get into the raid. So that's pretty cool that they left it out here. But you're never supposed to see that anyways. But there you go. There's the entrance portal. You can kind of see it back here. And I'm going to end the video here, guys.
So that is the uh, Black Temple, and that's what's outside. I encourage you to come see this place. And uh, as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.